Hi everyone, thanks so much for tuning into my channel today. My name is Rosa, if you don't know me, if you are new, welcome to my channel. Hope you guys like and subscribe and follow me along with what's going on in my life. Uh, today I want to talk to you guys about Influencer. Influencer is a service online where you can actually get and test free samples. Basically how it works is um, you enter in your information, you put in your social media, connect those to the service, that way they see your following. And with your following, the more higher your score is, the more likely you are to be able to test free sample products like I'm doing today. So this is one of the ones I got in the mail. I got it like a couple days ago, but I wasn't able really to make a video until today since I don't know, I haven't been feeling too good. I haven't had a lot of free time either since I went to a music festival. And so I want to be able to test this out now. Came in the mail, nice little package. It's I was actually able to get a Buxom Full Force Plumping Lipstick. And it also comes with complimentary mascara. So that's really cool. It's one of my first boxes I've gotten. So I hope to get many more. Um, I want to be able to show you guys the box on the inside. I did open it, but I haven't used any of the products yet. So this is what it comes with. It comes with a little piece of paper, basically telling you how to review the product. And I did get these complimentary. They were free to me. I did not pay for these. So thank you so much to Influencer and Buxom for sending me these products. I'm really happy and grateful. And I want to be able to show you guys how they are. And this is my unbiased review. So I'm giving my full opinion on these products and what I think of them. Um, inside, I also have a little mascara. Oh, actually, it's a big mascara. Uh, I can show you guys here. It's the Buxom Lash Mascara. The color for this one is Blackest Black, which I'm glad. Like, I can never do brown mascara like my eyelashes are already really dark as it is so i'm really glad he sent me this one it says that this separates and defines the lashes and intensely volumizes it looks like the applicator is going to be a plastic one and those are the ones i really like they really help you like to separate and coat each and every one of your lashes so i can't wait to try this out right here in front of you guys i don't have any mascara on so can't wait to see how this actually looks like in front of you guys and then I also was able to get a little lipstick as well. And this one is the Buxom Full Force Plumping Lipstick. I'll show you guys here on the screen. If this focuses, Buxom Full Force. And the color of this one is Triple Threat. It looks like it's a nice little like brown mauve, which is some colors that I'm really into. I like more natural colors as opposed to brighter colors just because I feel like it goes with my clothing more and kind of my style. Just like I like more natural makeup for the majority of like the day and any like any activities I go do. I usually like more natural makeup. Like I still wear, I still love it. I just don't really tend to go towards like super glam looks unless like I'm going out. But like for every day, this would be such a great color or even for going out just because it's like a really nice shade of like mauvey purple and... I think it would look really good on my lips. So we'll test these out and I'll show you guys how they look. Okay, and on the lipstick, the Full Force Plumping Lipstick, it also says that it drenches lips in lasting, creamy, max out color, visibly plumps for ultra lush, lush lips. And I'm always looking for products that do give a plumping effect just because I feel like it really does. I don't know, it kind of brings out your lips and makes your like smile pop out. So I always like lip plumping products. Like a lot of people may not like them, but I think they're a really great thing. And as long as like they're not too harsh or like cause any irritation to your lips, like I think they're a great product. So I can't wait to try these out and show you guys and see how they look. So I'll be back with the looks in just a moment. So I'm actually gonna try out the mascara right here for you guys. I'm gonna open it up. I've not opened this up yet. Let's see. This is how the container looks like. It's just a plain black. Um, tube for the mascara, it says, yeah, color, face focuses, black is black, kind of hard to see, but that's the best I can do with this at the moment. So let me try these on and see how it looks. I'm not wearing any mascara underneath this product, so you'll be able to see the full effect and how it works. 
And I got my Naked 2 Urban Decay palette. So let's try it on. And I actually got eyelash extensions for my graduation. And I do have a couple of them on. So if you're like, wow, like your eyelashes look super long. Like, I mean, my eyelashes naturally are on the longer side, but I still do have a couple lash extensions that haven't completely fallen off that are attached. So it's kind of helping, I guess, the mascara look a little bit better and long, making my eyelashes look longer, but I do have a, a couple extensions left. So I would just keep that in mind. So far, the way it's applying, I think it's applying pretty well. It doesn't feel like there's a ton of product on the wand though, which I don't know, maybe I'll try like pumping it a little bit in a moment and see if that helps get a little more product on. But for now, it's not a lot of product on here, which I usually like a good amount just because it really does help coat and curl and lengthen my lashes, which I really like, like since I like I really like having big lashes all the time. Like no matter if I'm wearing like a more simple look, like makeup look or a more glam look, I love big lashes. Like big lashes have always been my thing since high school. I've always loved makeup. So that's something that I find a staple, like no matter what. Even if I'm not wearing any like face products, like I use mascara is always like my go-to. It's one of my favorite things to put on. And I always try to make sure I have mascara handy with me. I'm just going to apply some to the bottom lashes too. See how that coats. Okay, it's doing a good job with, I think I like this more for the bottom lashes at the moment. That way like the product doesn't get all under your eyes like especially if you do put on mascara like on your bottom lashes sometimes if you have like a really thick formula or like something that's more sticky and like jam-packed onto the brush like it does make it more difficult to like spread and sometimes it will get like all over like your your under eyes and on your makeup and you have to redo it and that's always like kind of frustrating so i'm gonna go in with another coat just because i feel like this could have a little more product on it just to see, I want to give it like my full honest like opinion. Just maybe just I didn't like put enough on product on the actual brush to see. Okay, yeah, this time is a lot better. There's a little bit more product on the brush. So that's really awesome. It's helping a lot more. Oh, wow. I actually really like this mascara. I'll show you guys in a bit how it looks. And though I am wearing a couple eyelash extensions still, like it, even with my natural lashes, like it's still actually really making a huge difference. Like I'll show you between my left and my right eye. Uh, my left eye still have a couple more extensions left than my right. So I'll definitely show you guys a difference and you can see from fake lashes versus natural lashes and you can see how it looks and the effect it does give. Okay. So I think I'm done. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So let's see, I'll show you guys how it looks up close. So the left eye, this is with a couple lash extensions. You can see it's like pretty defining to my eyelashes. I do wish I gave a little more volume, but overall I do really like how it applied. I like applied pretty evenly. And it's, it is able to separate my lashes really good, which I, it's like one of the biggest things for me. And then let me show you my right eye without lash extensions. I have like a couple right there. But overall, you can see that even though my lashes look a little shorter on this side, it still does give like a nice curl and a nice little effect to them. So I think that's really great. Like overall, I think this is a really good mascara. I would most likely purchase this on my own if I didn't receive it complimentary but I do wish that it did have a little more product on it like it is kind of a drier mascara and I do kind of prefer ones that are a little more um dewy and sticky just because I I feel like personally I feel like it helps my lashes a lot more to become more 
more out there. They're more like bam, like in your face. Like that's what I really like with my lashes. But overall, like I, I really like the product. I would recommend it. And I think I would purchase it again. Like I think I really like it more for like a bottom mascara though. That's just, just in my opinion. And so next up is the Full Force Plumping Lipstick. Try that out. And I specifically chose to wear like a lighter color for my outfit. That way you can like see the makeup and that way it doesn't really like distract from the makeup look. Even though I did go with a little something a little more simple. Because I'm not really going to do too much today. I'm just going to go take my sister softball game and run some errands. So I just wanted like a simpler look today. So this is like the inside of the container. It says buxom on it. And then that's the cap. I actually really like this packaging. It's super cute. I think it's really sleek. I like the like, silver. It makes it look really nice um, for the product. And then you can see that there's actually little lip engravings in the lipstick, which is really cute. Like, I don't really see that a lot with lipstick. Most of the time when I see lipstick, it's just like a pretty plain, pretty simple. But this one's cute. Like, it has a little added touch to it. And so this is the color right here. It's a little hard to see. But it is like a, I think I said it was more like a mauve brown, but I think this is more like a reddish, a reddish nude brown, I would say. It looked a little more brown on like the outside packaging, but once I see it on, on me, actually, like it looks a little more on the red brown side. So I'm going to swatch it for you guys. Oh, this is such a pretty color. Okay, let me show you. Okay, that's how it looks like. Excuse my nails, I haven't gotten them done in like forever. Yeah, that's kind of how it looks like. So let me get this on, show you guys. I'll let you know if there's actually like a plumping effect to it. That's like one of the big things. Like it claims it's a plumping lipstick. So let's see if it actually does that. And I don't have any lip products on besides chapstick. Like I did put a little bit of chapstick on just because my lips tend to get super dry. Excuse me, I put this on. I'm trying not to talk and mumble while I put this on. So far, it's applying really evenly, which is good. It's like coating very well. It's moisturizing. It has a little bit of a, like a minty scent. And I wish I did use a brush to apply this. It's because I don't usually apply lipstick straight out of the tube, but we'll improvise for today. Okay, I think I have it on. I actually feel a little bit of like the minty component of this lipstick it's actually like I feel like a little tingle it's not like a huge tingle with some makeup with some lipstick products I know some of them they have like a real bad stinging effect this one doesn't have that like this is just like a nice little tingle I can show you guys up close okay yeah it's actually kind of more yeah like a brownie red I would say like a brick color in a way it still has a little bit of orange to it, I could tell. But overall, I think this is really pretty. Like, this is a lip color that I was able to actually kind of choose out when I was doing the campaign for the Vox Box, which is what um the box is called that comes to you from Influencer. And yeah, I think this is the color I chose just because I knew it would, like, work pretty well with my skin tone. I'm really into um, more, like, deeper colors for my lips. I do like a lot of nudes, but at the same time... I know like bright pinks and stuff like that won't really work for my skin tone since I'm more of like a golden skin tone. But overall, I think this looks really good. Like I think I would totally purchase these products myself. I'm so grateful that I was able to get them for free since um, these are probably I think most likely at Sephora, Ulta. I know they sell a lot of Buxom Cosmetics. So that's like where I would definitely go and look for them if you are interested in purchasing these products. But yeah, this is my review on the products. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked it. I hope this helps you be able to figure out like, you know, how to join Influencer if you wanna be able to get products like these yourself and be able to review them and give your honest review on them. 
And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Thanks.